everybody as you can see my horseshoe crab is out and about so I always like to try to get some video of him when he's out doing his thing he's a very interesting animal probably not going to have him very much longer I know I've been saying that for a while but I really think like not much longer means the next couple of weeks maybe um, he's probably going to be out of here he's just really destructive as I've said before um, and I really want to do something with this tank. I, I got to decide what I want to do with it. And having him in there is going to prevent me from really doing anything. Um, there you go. Nice shot of how quickly that uh, Hawaiian feather duster can disappear when it gets disturbed. So I've got the cyanobacteria starting to come back in this tank a little bit. You can see that red on the glass over there. So it's about time for another treatment of that. I'm not going to let it get out of control this time, so it should just be a standard treatment for a day, and then I'll do a water change, and, you know, we'll keep right on ticking along. I do have a uh, brittle sea star in this tank, and I noticed the other day it had some injuries on it. I do not know what those injuries have been caused by. I saw it a little bit yesterday, but all I saw was its legs uh, sticking out of the rock. I was not able to see its body where the injuries were, so I don't know if it was getting better or worse. And today I have not seen it at all, although now that I'm saying it, I can actually see one little piece of a leg sticking out. So I know he's still in there. He hasn't rotted away. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to tell you uh, an update on his actual condition until I get a better look at him. But for now... Hopefully you'll be able to enjoy this uh, horseshoe crab. Trying to find a decent angle that I can show them to you without looking through all that muck on the glass. You can see he puts kind of a beating on that tube worm there, the Hawaiian feather duster. So that's just one of the reasons I want him out of the tank. Uh, he knocks my rock pile around. I've actually reconstructed it a couple times trying to find that way of doing it that sort of locks the rocks in a position that he can't knock them over, and I still haven't found that yet. So I'm just kind of waiting until he's not in here anymore, and then I'll set him up the way I like him, and nothing will be able to knock him over anymore at that point. So that was just a little look at him swimming around the tank, a little brief update on it. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will try to get as much video of him as I can before I get rid of him, because uh, I know he's a big uh, popular attraction. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.